Is Megan Fox channeling Pamela Anderson? The 36-year-old actress rocked a head-to-toe pink outfit, which included a fluffy hat as she supported her fiancé, Machine Gun Kelly, at Art Basel in Miami on Monday. Megan's fun look appears to be a nod to Pamela, who also sported an oversized pink fluffy hat to the 1999 MTV Video Music Awards alongside Tommy Lee. This isn't the first time the Transformers star has paid homage to the Baywatch alum. She channeled Pam for Halloween this year. Megan and MGK dressed up as the pair when they attended the Casamigos party. Megan looked spot on in her blonde wig and color blocked latex dress while the rocker sported jet black hair, a white tank top, and latex pants. He even recreated the Motley Crue drummer's iconic tattoos. Pam and Tommy wore similar outfits when they attended the grand opening of the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Resort in Las Vegas. Megan and her fiancé love to support each other and often coordinate their outfits. Last June, the Jennifer Body star told Axis Hollywood Zuri Hall how their style is in sync on the red carpet. My favorite. Ooh, girl, I wish. I wish. I just wish I could <laughs> one day break down this dress for me. What, what was the vibe for the night? Where were you? Were you nervous about a wardrobe malfunction, a slip? Um, so this is Muggler, the dress. Okay. And I had just come from Moogler. Moogler, okay. Moogler, not Muggler, according to this person over here in the corner, but who knows? Subjective, the pronunciation. Tomato, um, tomato. I had just come back from Costa Rica. I had been in like this deep immersive ayahuasca experience. It's very spiritual experience. I literally come back the day before and I was not prepared to have to go on a red carpet. And I did not want to wear that dress of all dress. I wanted to be in like a, like what I'm wearing now, like full sweats. So I was like, if I have to go, I need to be covered up. I'm not ready. I'm too sensitive. Um, yeah. But everybody forced me to wear that. I guess I'm glad that they did. I wasn't worried about a wardrobe malfunction. I was more worried about like the fragility of my mental state oh, but okay. um Fair. but I I'm I mean I'm happy with it it was a sexy dress I guess yeah. yeah it was absolutely stunning this one the pink with the are these diamonds rhinestones on the shoulder let's go with diamonds diamond they're diamonds diamonds on the shoulders head to toe pink with the jumpsuit I can't remember the name of the designer please forgive me I'm so sorry and I love um, the, name. Magic. the shoes are amazing that look was a lot also. It came, I think, the day after, like two days after the, the Moogler. Um, mm -hmm. And I actually liked that one maybe more. I don't usually wear a lot of pink. People mm -hmm. put me in a lot of black. I was super excited to be in a, be in a color and yeah. be my best Barbie that day. Yeah, yeah. And lastly, more color, actually. Um, I'm loving the asymmetry on this one. You've got the off the shoulder, one sleeve, the length on one side. Very interesting visually. Where was this? How were you feeling in this look? I think that was American Music Awards. I was like one of the first award shows back after COVID. Uh -huh. I don't know. I look like a Christmas present, right? You do That's not look like a Christmas present. Like, okay, sure. If it was a very sexy, highly attractive and stylish. Uh, I was styled by his stylist for that actually like last minute I asked him who doesn't he doesn't really style women I was like can you pull something for me also uh -huh. um and we just we always pick things that don't necessarily match but they go together somehow mm -hmm. so the sheen on his suit and the sheen on that even though he was in white and I was in green uh -huh. it did kind of look like some kind of weird confection like some kind of sugary dessert yeah. that's that's the vibe <laughs> I got <laughs> 